my right i don't actually watch them nowadays because i'm always very very busy but somebody drew my attention to one of their posts um the man said i wanted him to be my boyfriend or my husband it seems to be funny see i have never in my life said with a man i'm a very hard working lady even though i have issues with my ex for crying out loud my ex-husband is an educated person but we had differences and i left him i have never for once said you chairman he came to my hotel to sleep with me this man came to my hotel he stripped himself naked to sleep with me i said no because i was depressed i had no feelings for a man and since then i left my husband i can swear to god who made me i have not slept with a man i hustle for myself I sell skincare on products. People use me for promo because I have a good skin. And that is how I hustle for my kids. If anybody say I seduce a person, that person is lying. Then let me tell you guys something. That human right, what you guys see online is different from what is in the world. I mean, what is in reality. People come to report issues there. The president, she eats a lot of people's money and she does not judge issues. And when I was there, that was the issue I was battling with. People thought I was working there. So most times I just advise them, please, you guys should judge these people's issues because for me, I still have this abroad mentality. Let me put it that way because I thought that if you eat somebody's money purposely without doing what you're supposed to do, maybe the person can cost you and anytime i tell the president they just wave it sometimes people send money through send wave or what remitter because i've used those things to cash out dollars from my account from my access bank first bank that people send to me and once i do that i tell her this is how you're supposed to re remove the money she'll remove the money without giving these people they have been eating a lot of people's money more mama success she says we are leave my house is a bit closer so anytime i'm passing she's like oh my daughter i saw you are human right i thought you could help me before the chairman traveled out i told him about this woman that please whatever it is return back the, mo the woman's money because she's an old woman and the woman is partially blind according to her i saw her struggles oh what was my wrong i just want to ask and he told me the chairman was the person who told me initially that anytime i see something wrong with the organization i should just call his attention all these things he was doing to sleep with me i was in his house when he tried to peg me he tried to kiss me on my mouth i i pushed him away chairman is just a bloody liar because i accepted to date him he told me he could cut off for me take care of my kids i told him look i'm not i don't want to date right now because See, I have a lot of two-stars, but I have not accepted anybody. If you see me posting something on social media, sometimes I just want to catch crews. I do not have boyfriend. I stay in my house. I do my YouTube videos, or I go out to, to deliver some product because I don't have a fiscal shop yet. I do not have a boyfriend in this Lagos. Ever since I divorced from my husband, I have not met even one man in my life. Not that I cannot do. But because generally I hate guys right now because I think... If I accept anybody, the person will still take advantage of me. See, my ex-husband was cute. Do you understand? I have nothing to do with Chiyama. Chiyama is very short. He's not even handsome like my ex-husband. I have a taste for men. See, everything he talks about me is a bloody liar. I did not seduce. What do he have? I know I'm poor, but my ex-husband is richer than him. What is what is his business with me? This old man should leave me. I'm a young girl. I'm still in 20s. Even that's why the father has kids. I have no issues with them. Please, they should leave me alone. I have, see, they have been eating people's money. A lot of people call me on social media because my name is there and they saw me. It's like my video went viral. And most times they call me to complain because they think I'm working there. They will be like, Mercy. Because there's another girl, she called, she told me her name is Mercy. She paid 20,000 naira. The case was not George. The president asked her to go back to her ex husband and pretend to be like a wife so that she could, she could just pick the children and run away. A lot of cases like that, see. Chairman, I respect you a lot. If you dare call my name, I will bring out your naked picture with your prick and dick. I show to the world because you came to my hotel, you stripped yourself naked to have me. But I told you I won't do that because my ex is already suspecting me. I'm a very decent girl. Very, very decent. People don't know. Like I just, see, people don't know that I'm very decent. I'm a very decent girl. I don't have a boyfriend since I left my husband. How many months? How many girls can do that? And I know I'm beautiful. I don't have time for men. I take care of my kids. I'm always in my house. I don't see. Chairman, you always fight with president in my front. I'm not part of your marital issue. Me, I get my own way. They worry me. Like I get my own way. They worry me. Where, where? 
if you have issues with your wife, see, last two weeks, chairman and the president sent police people early in the morning to come and beat her sister, Iyabo, the younger sister to chairman. They beat the girl, they strip her naked and send her away. I wasn't there. The girl called me and told me that mercy. I am telling you because she used to go to human rights and chairman used to talk about you. She used to praise you that you, you that uh, you, you that I don't know. You used to give them good advice, things like that. Please call chairman and talk to him. I told the sister that please, the man does not listen to me, so I can't talk to him. And meanwhile, the man was coming to me to have sex with me. And ever since I said no, he has not even talked. See, number one, let me tell you guys, I have a standard. Chairman, his English now don't they provoke me. I cannot even go see. Uh, see, I cannot go with that guy. No more, he's very short. He used to reach me around my breast here. Yeah. I don't have issues with these people. Oh. Please, I don't have issues. My mother says I was crying. And somebody sent that video to me. I didn't even do it. But I used to see her around. She sells old shoes. And sometimes I just dash her small money that I have. I'm not rich. I don't even have money. I'm also broke. But as an old woman, I have, like, I see her as my grandmother. And the only thing I could do was just to help her. I want somebody to push me to. Somebody told me, I was not pushed because the person told me that, please, mercy, because you have a uh, have few followers that knows him are right. If you post this, they could actually help you. They could actually help you. That was why I posted it. And I even tagged them to know that if, for them to know that if what she's saying is wrong, they should come out and defend. That is the essence of tagging. I was not afraid of them. If not, I wouldn't have tagged them. And secondly, I also posted her number so that if anybody thinks I'm lying, they should call her and hear from the horse's mouth. See, I'm a very young girl that is very decent. Even though I wear short nika or something, I'm very decent. I'm not a guru. I'm not a prostitute. I'm not doing this thing that Lagos girls are doing to have money. I am very decent. I'm always indoors. I don't even go anywhere. I mind my business. Chiama, you posted my, you post, you said my messy Malaysia. See, I don't even know how to speak good English anymore. Because of this, see, for the fact that you mentioned my name, you said I, I said you should say you, I should sleep with you. I mean, you should sleep with me, chairman. If I ever do that, I cut you from today because my ex-husband said he was suspecting me. So you want to come out here and damage my image? See, you are old enough to be my father, right? And if you ever say this to a young girl who you are old enough to give birth to, I cut you today. Anything. See all those things people used to do there. It go leak. Unanyash go liko because people don't used to judge cases. People are crying outside. Human rights is people used to say it's karma. A lot of people see tomorrow. I'm going to call another girl. Eh? I will do a live video with her. She will explain what is happening. And see the case of Eukarya. The, the, the chairman said she was supposed to call them. I'll be texting. I can bet you when I was at Human Rights. Do you remember when I went to Human Rights? That was February. I saw that girl with her baby. February till now, they haven't given her the money. The girl has to go to police station. And I think it's a gender, or a gender unit or something here in Lagos. I report these people and she has to take a, a, lawyer, get, a, a lawyer together with her. And when they, they, they called the president, she was not changing her mouth. I called it to come and collect your money. He didn't come. But I can tell you that if you go there, she will shout at you, bang the door at you, insult you, and you'll go back. That's what they have been doing. And anytime I see those things, I used to tell them, please, this is, this is inhuman. I was not there when you carry her, when the case of you carry happened much later, but I was there when it started. But why did she call me? Because a lot of people feel I'm still working there. And that is how I get a lot of uh, uh, text messages in my inbox. Sometimes I forward it to chairman to let him know that people are complaining. Do you know what they do? They don't even care. Chairman will tell me that. Tell them you're not part of human rights. Whatever they are doing is no more business. And me, I used to tell them, don't you think this kind of character will make your organization to collapse? That is the question I ask him. Most times he will just tell me, mind your business, mercy. Not be me carry you come Nigeria. They do that abroad mentality for outside. That is the response I get from him. I am so shocked that this man could actually call my name and say, Robbie, see, please, it's not that I'm ingrate. I am not. I appreciate them. Even though they didn't give me the money, or oh, I still appreciate because it's not an entitlement. I was shocked. I was surprised. I never expect that. But let me tell you the truth. What these people are doing is bad. Do you know that for two months, I used to go there every day. I go there 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. with my laptop as a woman. I work for, uh, for the uh, president from morning to night without food without transportation and she allows me to come back to my hotel around 9 p.m and 10 p.m sometimes 9 p.m with my laptop bag and i was new in lagos who does that what if i'm raped she don't even care about my health 
and that was why I left. I worked for them two good months. Those people are computer illiterate. I taught them how to even check email, how to even delete email and uh, Google email. They don't know anything, and nobody paid me for that. I really left because I told them, my mother, look, I'm a mother, and when I get because then I, I didn't get my kids yet. When I get my kids. I'm going to take care of them. I'm going to sponsor them in school because as it is now, my ex-husband is not sending a pain for me, a penny to me to sponsor the kids. My kids are in school. I do everything by myself. I told the woman that if she's not paying me, I have to leave the place. And that was how I left. I didn't have issues with them. I just left. But the woman was suspecting me that I was dating the husband. And the husband was the one coming for me. And I was saying no. Several times I said no. If you want to know, please send me a DM. I'm going to send Chiamas dick and prick to you. So that people post it on social media. This man is crazy. You are a fool. Born by mistake. Telling me I seduce a man. Are you fine? Are you fine? I don't just understand. Do you think I'm a local girl? Is it because of my condition? I'm not a local girl. Do you understand? You are an idiot, Chiama. For lying against me, you are an idiot. I don't care. Use all those your juju. It will not catch me. Do you understand? It will not catch me because I, I, am, I am from a Christian. I don't believe those things. I'm not part of your issues. Settle your issue with your, 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 what do they call your, your wife. Your people are complaining. Please, please don't have my own issue that is bothering me. You understand? I don't have issues with these people. Stop saying I said this to you. I never do that. I saw the video you made. Can a woman seduce a man and you were lying? Oh, blah, blah, blah. Chairman is a whore. He is a dog. I remember the first day I went there, I was standing at the back of the house. He came. He wanted to, in fact, he was speaking, putting his prick at my bum bum. But I wore clothes. I had to push him. He tried to kiss me too. I pushed him away. If you dare make any video about me, I'm going to put your naked picture on social media. I swear. Because I remember, I put a necklace that has a camera. I, I'm somebody who keeps a lot of details. I knew this would come. Because if you claim that you were coming to check where I was, why did you send your wife? Why did you send your wife? You said you came, I mean I was doing to sleep with you. Are you mad? Are you really mad? For, for real? For real? When I was depressed, up to now, I can't even date because when I think of a man, I, my, my spirit shakes. Because what I got you, I went through a lot of domestic violence. So anything married, anything man is just funny to me. What are you talking about? Chiama, please and please, you better undo everything you have said about me because I am not part of your issue. And if you do anything, I'm going to play Insta blog. I'll post your social media, your, your naked picture. I don't care about the shame more because I know right now my ex-husband will hear about this and he'll be jubilating. But I know myself. I always say, a clear conscience fears no accusation. I never slept with you. I never said this to you. I had no idea about rubbish you're talking about. If you're frustrated, if you have issues with your wife, because I know you fight every day like the way I fight in my, in my, in my, my, with my ex. If you have issues with your wife, please go and settle down. Or if you have issues with your client, go and settle down. I know a lot of times people cry in your office. I know a lot of times people have issues with precedent because of her arrogant attitude. People online, you can even see what she does online is just like a quarter of what she does offline. When they contribute money, then we don't give them money. It's normal. In my own case, they even gave me quarter because they know that I'm on social media. I could come out and speak. And I, when I even made that video, I was just making the, the aim of that video was to appreciate them. Because like I told you guys earlier, I have no idea that somebody was going to give me money. Because in my life, apart from my parents, nobody gives me money. So it was like... For me, it was a surprise, and I still appreciate. I don't have issues with these people. Please, I made this video because he said, because I refused to be his girlfriend. When this man was telling me that president not give birth, that me, my kids are fine. He want me to, he want to have those kind of my kids. He will impregnate me and be in Nigeria, I'm sending me money. And I said, no, I'm not going to be part of this rubbish. Chia man, so you have the guts to open your mouth. He even not have caught it. These are not even fine. You have those guts. To open that your, your dirty teeth and tell me rubbish. See, I swear to God, if you make any video, I promise you I'm going to put your naked picture with your prick. Your wife will see it. You came and naked yourself in my front. I put a necklace I was having a camera. You don't understand. I know that this was going to come up one day. I put it in my drive. I don't want to share this all this way. I went to Imara since April, since February 26th, and I left Imara in April. And let me tell you guys something. Do you know that the house they rented for me, this will try to collect it. The woman sent, the president sent a message to, to the landlord that the, the man should come along with me to the office, that she would be the one to detect who would be in the house. 
Thank God the landlord said no, that me I came to look for the house, so he will not accept anybody. And I came back, I told my landlord, and anybody asked of me, without my permission, they should not allow the person. They even sent somebody to claim to be my painter. Somebody came looking for me that he wanted to paint my house. When I have already painted my house with my money, I was like, if I don't know anybody in Lagos. So if anybody comes to look for me, the person should have my number to call me, and I'm supposed to be here before the person. Meanwhile, they sent someone to come here, attack me, and collect the key. This is what they do is that if you have issues with them, they'll send talks to come and beat you up. Say, German, even if you are beating me, I will video it and put it online. The president of Nigeria must see it. Easter block must see it. Everybody must see it. You guys are thieves, modern thieves. Nigeria, stop contributing money to human rights. You say I seduce you. You shall see it. Me seduce you. For what now? You are not educated. Your English is like. I don't even know what to put. You are short. I don't dare to do it. I'm sorry to say. You are fine the way you are. But for, for the sake that you called my name on something I don't know, you are an, you are an idiot. I remember you begging me. You, you even gave me $200 because of sex. I collect them. I run. See, he gave his sister $200. The president didn't even know. I was broke now. You brought the money. I collected this and run. Abby, you don't give me $200. I collected the money. I run. Do I sell you? No. I didn't do anything with you, and now this is what you come to do. You saw the video. Do you know that he even sent me? He sent me a voice message on WhatsApp saying that uh, I seduced him just because I posted this Mama Success video right now. If if please, my number is zero eight one triple six zero fifty one twenty five. Please and please send me a WhatsApp message. Let me send those kind of things to you. Please, if you want to put this picture online, put it. He deserves it. You tell the world that I seduced you because my ex was complaining about that and I know I didn't do it. You are a liar. My parents know me. I don't do that. I'm a fine girl. It's men that come to me. I don't go for men. Bye. Wait, wait, wait.